Hi friends, how do you level up faster in Apex Legends? I'm going to talk you through what contributes to your level increasing and what you can do to focus on to level up faster. Why would you want to do this? Well, the new prestige level cap system in Season 14 means you've got a lot more levels you can work through, and if you do that, you'll earn a free heirloom as confirmed by the devs. Now I know there is a bug at the moment, meaning a lot of people aren't actually receiving the packs from leveling up. Respawn have confirmed they're looking into this and they're going to fix it, hopefully soon, so you will get the packs back for those levels you've earned, plus moving forward, once they've fixed it, you'll also be earning packs for those levels ahead. So account leveling is done through experience points, also known as XP, and you'll earn XP based on your actions in game. Each prestige level requires 18,000 XP. Now I'm not 100% sure if all prestige tiers will have the same XP requirement, but certainly the earlier levels of prestige tier 1 are fixed at 18,000. In fact, level 57 of the normal levels were fixed at 18,000, so that means most of the levels you were doing before these prestige tiers were introduced in season 14 were capped at 18,000 as well. So what this means is you've got the equivalent of 2,000 levels you can earn as of season 14 of Apex Legends, and that's a lot of XP you'll need to be earning. So how do you earn XP? To make it easy for you, I've put together this table to show you how to earn XP in the game to contribute to your level increasing. Each of these actions will give you varying amounts of XP in the game. I would say Time Survived is one of the biggest earners for XP. The longer you survive in a game, the more XP you earn. So a 20 minute game will give you 3600 XP. Let's make it easy for you though by looking at a breakdown of XP for one of my games and this will help show you what earning these points look like in real terms. Starting in the top left, you see for the win I got 1080 XP. That's because a win gives 900 XP bonus, but as I was in a party and I had a boost from the battle pass, I got an extra 20%. If I had finished in the top 5, I'd have got 300 XP instead of 900, so there's still benefit to trying to get to the top 5 even if you can't win. With the benefit of winning you also get good time survive. You can see I survived for 18 minutes and 23 seconds. As you get 3 XP per second survived, it's 3 multiplied by 1103 which is my time survived converted in seconds and that's how you get the 3390 XP that I earned. Kills also help. You get 50 XP per kill. Now sometimes you might find on King's Canyon teams just die really quickly. That's kind of what happened in this game so I only got 3 kills but that's 150 extra XP for the those kills. For sure, chasing kills in pubs can help you level up a lot faster. For example, a 20 bomb will give you 1000 XP. Damage done does give you a boost as well, you get 0.25 XP per damage point. I only did just over 1k damage in this game so I got 280 XP, but for example if you got 4k damage in a game that would give you 1000 XP. So combining high damage and kills can help you. I managed to respawn my teammate in this game so that gave me a boost of 200 XP, which is actually almost as much as I got for the damage and it's more than what I got for the kills so you can see it really is worth respawning your teammates and you should be the one to do it if you want that bonus XP. Don't let those randos do it because then you're missing out on easy XP. Now I didn't get to kill the champion squad in this game, but that is another way to get easy XP, because you get 500 XP if you're able to kill the champion. I also wasn't kill leader in this game, but if you are kill leader you get a 50 XP bonus. There are a couple of things you don't see here, for example you don't see the champion squad and you don't see first kill of the day here, and that's because I wasn't the champion squad when I loaded into the game, plus I played a bunch of games before this so it wasn't my first kills of the day. However if you were getting your first kill of the day, that gives you 500 bonus bonus XP, and if you're the champion squad, you get 500 bonus XP as well. So this is just a little tip, even if you don't feel like playing Apex for the day, it might be worth just jumping on, playing one game, getting one kill, and that will still help you level up faster, because that 500 XP bonus is quite a big amount of bonus, for doing relatively little. And the final thing you see here is that you get a playing with friends bonus. I was playing duos with my buddy Liam, so I got a 5% bonus for having one in my pre-made squad. That's 5% of time survive, hence the 165 XP that I got. If you have two friends in a party with you, i.e. a full squad, then you would get a 10% bonus of the time survived. So partying up, even if it's with randos can make a big difference. By the way, you don't even need to talk to them, you just need to invite them to your Apex party and that still gives you the boost. So it's worth considering next time you get a good rando, maybe try inviting them to your party. It's also a reason why triple stack players tend to level up faster than solo queue players.
Do remember in the battle pass you can unlock XP boosts as well and in total you can boost your XP up to 300% in a season and that's why the second part of the battle pass always unlocks faster because you're earning more stars through your XP leveling up and this also helps you level up your account level XP which is what you'll need to be doing to get to that heirloom so grinding the battle pass can be a good way to level up faster as well. If you look at this as a whole clearly time survived is the biggest contributor to XP. Also I'd recommend trying to focus on the little things that people don't often consider. Be the one to revive and respawn your teammates because the extra bonuses you get really do add up over the course of a season and it can be the difference between you leveling up faster to earn an heirloom this season or next season compared to having to wait five seasons for it. Hopefully this gives you a better understanding of how you can level up faster in Apex Legends in season 14 and beyond. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll catch you later.